Hey, what's up gamer fans, and well, this time it's time to bloody it up this top 10 list, because that's right, it's another top 10 on what I think the best fatalities are. Now, this list is fatalities strictly from, of course, the newest Mortal Kombat game, Mortal Kombat X, and or Mortal Kombat XL, whatever the hell you call it. The rules are, yes, I'll include the DLC characters, but no, I'm not including stage fatalities, being that there's only two, count them two stage fatalities, brutalities, and faction kills, and so forth. No, it's strictly fatalities, and, of course, I gotta be fair and give one per character. That means not two per character, or three, whatever. It's only one per character, because I'm trying to give every other character a chance. And trust me, this game, it's got plenty of blood, guts, and lore, you name it. It's bloody as you just remember it from the first game in the arcade. So, plenty of blood and gore on this list, so let's check it out, let's get to it. Number 10, Johnny Cage is Here's Johnny. Okay, I'll be honest, I was never really a big fan of Johnny Cage, I always thought of him as a bit of a punk, you know, P.A.B. Because really, I mean, what's a special move, nut punching and stuff? I mean, I know he's a big movie star and everything, and big hotshot, but really, compared to the awesome characters like Scorpion and Sub-Zero and so forth, I didn't think he had much to offer, but this fatality is pretty funny, actually. I mean, yeah, it's obviously imitating The Shining, and yeah, because his name is Johnny Cage. What better way to really show yourself off than, than going through the body of somebody as a finisher? That's <laughs> pretty good. Number 9. Aliens Deadly Hybrid Fatality. I know, this same one seems like a little bit of a cheat, but, but what I like about this one is it's very reminiscent of a very familiar fatality from Mortal Kombat 2. Can't remember? Yeah, how about Baraka's from Mortal Kombat 2? Yeah. Holding them up with the claws and showing them right to your face like, yeah, you're dead, man. You're dead. You're mine. And boom! Off with the face. Yeah, it's awesome. Game over, man. Game over. Number 8, Jax's T-Rex Fatality. Wait, is he a dinosaur now? No, he just crushes bones, or arms I should say, and rips the head off and, yeah, I guess that's a way to put out a cigarette. Makes a good ashtray right there, maybe not the most sanitary one, but it'll put it out. Number 7, Melina's Face Feast Fatality. Okay, obviously, unless you're living under a rock and never played the previous installments of Mortal Kombat, you should probably know what Melina's face looks like, hidden under that face coverage. Yep, she pretty much is the same species as Baraka is, whatever the hell species that is. And, get ready for a face feast. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. And, mmm, that's gotta be yummy. Yeah, she's got a taste for face. Number six. Raiden's Conducting Rod Fatality. Hmm, wonder what this has to deal with. Perhaps lightning? Oh, I'm not surprised. Ooh, yeah, off with the legs and... There you go. Nice going there, Ben Franklin. Or should I say... Toasty! Number five. Cassie Cage's Selfie Fatality. Okay, obviously I mentioned this in my uh, Mortal Kombat X review, so I don't think it needs much, much further introduction, so... Yeah, knock the jaw off, seems kind of cheap, and yeah, take a selfie of that victim. Post it online on a fake website that obviously doesn't exist, but hey, it's pretty funny though. Number 4, Sub-Zero's Bed of Ice. Well, a bed of ice it is, I mean, it couldn't have picked a more perfect name for this one. Yep, sleep tight, don't let the sharp ice bite, or knock your eye out. He's definitely not waking up from that. Number 3, Kung Lao's Face Grinder. Trust me, it is exactly as the title says it is, Face Grind. Put the hat on the floor like a buzzsaw, yeah I know, it's reminiscent of uh, Mortal Kombat 2011 or Mortal Kombat 9, whatever the hell you call it, but this one is even more bloodier. Push his face right in it and damn, talk about bloodbath right there. Christ, you can see his brains. Gross, but Number two, Kenshi's My Puppet Fatality. Hmm, sounds kiddie-ish, but this one is anything but kiddie-ish. You rip the rib cage right out of the back with a... Oh, God, and that's what you call a bloody marionette puppet right there. And, damn, 
use that sword and there you go. I don't think that's a puppet show you want to take kids to see. Alright, well before I get to number one, might as well throw a few honorable mentions in there because let me tell you, this was not an easy list to make and I couldn't leave these few fatalities out, so might as well get to them. Shinox, the grinder. Hmm, wonder what he does. Oh yeah, he takes out his skeleton hands and, and yeah, rip them apart. And let's give a hand for that. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Quan Chi's both ends. Hmm, wonder what he does. Yay, he creates portals like he always does. But this is not a portal you want to be going in, or I should say, both of yourself want to go in. Yeah. Because I don't think you'll be exiting that portal alive and well. Goro's. Shotkin Amputation. Okay, I know some people like to peekaboo one, you know, the other fatality, but honestly, I think this one is better, because why? Well, I know it's kind of been seen before with the whole forearms thing, but come on, you can't argue. It makes great use of those forearms right there. Yeah, jump on top of them and use those forearms. The maximum strength and rip all the limbs right off. Yeah, arms and legs off, man. That's gotta hurt. And the number one fatality from Mortal Kombat X, in my opinion, is... Let's talk about Error Max Inner Workings. Now, what kind of inner workings does he do that makes this spot at number one so bloody? Well, yeah. How about ripping every single organ out of the person's body and then squishing them? Ugh. Oh, my god. That'll ruin your day. So, till next time, happy gaming.